Hello YouTube. Uh, I did this uh, garage door opener yesterday. I did it all uh, myself and here is a short video on how I went about doing it. But before that, let's put this in action. you have it so let me try opening it Okay, so as you might have noticed, uh, it's a one big uh, tilt door. It's not a sectional door. It's not a roller door. It's it's uh, a one panel, single panel tilt door, as it's called. And uh, I did a lit little bit of research on what sort of uh, opener uh, works with it. And actually, you know, uh, you will not find a lot of... Uh, things online which says uh, garage door opener for tilt doors but sectional doors works fine so you know if you are looking if you have got a tilt door and if you're looking for a garage opener you can simply go and buy a sectional one so the sectional ones are the ones where the door is broken up into multiple pieces and it slides on a rail whereas tilt doors do not have a rail and the whole thing moves up and as I was saying so you know the the sectional door garage door opener works just fine so I went and bought uh, 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 a basic opener because mine is a single garage door I didn't want anything heavy but up uh, but this particular opener uh, which I bought from Bunnings uh, uh, can handle the double doors or the double garage doors as well uh, it's uh, it was uh, $200 one and uh, putting it all together uh, probably took two to three hours uh, and I managed to do it all by myself so I started off by doing this end of the lintel bracket as they call it um, I had to basically cut through the the ceiling panel um, uh, the, it's, it's just a ziprock one I could easily take it off uh, using a hole saw I did that to give it the required height. There's a calculation on how far up it should be above the top of the door. So based on that, I had only two options, either to you know basically cut through that ceiling panel or attach it to the ceiling itself. But unfortunately on the ceiling, I did not have a strong anchor point or I couldn't find the, the stud behind it. Hence, I used the, the timber in the front it worked just fine so that's a strong anchor point once that is done then you know it was just a matter of basically fixing the the motor or the opener up there using the the bracket up there uh, of course you know it is not in the perfect shape uh, as it should be but you know I did not have any professional tools to bend it at the right spot or give it a straight one but it works just fine you know i have just ensured that you know it is perfectly aligned and i gave this additional optional support this was not recommended or it was not shown in the pictures this was left as an optional one but i did it anyways um, my ceiling had a little bit of a, a lack of studs as to say in this garage uh, it has stud only in the center of the beam right along where the uh, the bulb holder is and uh, hence I had to you know restrict myself to uh, sticking to the center of that particular line otherwise usually you know you could have made a U sort of a clamp and given it a uh, little bit more support but 
as I said, you know, it is it is solid out there. It is it is screwed into the solid timber or the stud above it, so it's not going to move anytime soon. So once that's done, the next thing is to you know basically put these screws in uh, into the metal door itself and connect this bar to the chain and that's pretty much it and everything else uh, the instructions and everything else to configure the maximum uh, up point the maximum down point everything else was uh, very easy to configure just a matter of pushing three buttons on this particular head unit and there you have it and uh, everything else was done so I could do this all by myself in uh, two to three hours I'm sure you know if you have uh, correct tools and if you get uh, uh, if you have already done this before you can probably do it in uh, in less than two hours for sure so there you have there you go guys uh, that's my video yes so as you can see this is the opener that I used for my tilt door uh, as you can see it actually says it's for sectional garage door opener and it can handle you know the double garage doors as well but works just fine on the tilt doors so there you have it guys uh, thank you